Alright guys, so I'm going to be showing you a new script that I've uh, just recently made and it's an auto harvester made to harvest uh, any type of crop so that includes carrots, beetroot, potatoes, nether warts, pumpkins, uh, sugarcane, melons and wheat as well. I, I forgot to include the wheat but the wheat is a bit like carrots, potatoes and beetroot. But yeah, it's it's basically made for any type of crop that can be grown on the field, uh, including the sugarcane and pumpkins. So uh, I'll just give you a little demonstration of each individual one and the different one, a little one across all the different features uh, that this script uh, has to offer. And in the end, I'll finish by like, explaining a few of the features that I have yet to update for the Hypixel players that actually want. Um, additional things, a bit like auto craft, fail safe, and if you change lobbies, you know, things to make them a bit more server friendly. But for now, um, I just made it so that it's perfectly capable for vanilla. So the idea is you'd probably have a minecart below to collect the drops or whatever. Uh, for now, uh, so let's, you know, let's just head right into it. So, carrots, carrots, beetroot, potatoes, nether warts are more or less all of the same, so is wheat. So, I'm gonna just go with the nether warts. There we go, so we have a nether wart farm. Let's uh, just fill in the whole farm. There you go, just a little bit of lag there. Alright, um, so nether wart is a bit special in the sense that you're running on soul sand. So, to collect, be able to collect it, I have added two different functionalities a sprint which allows you to spin like this, or a fly, which basically double tap space and then brings you back to just above the uh, nether wart, so flying slightly above it. So let's uh, run the bots for nether wart. There you go. Um, and let's cancel the bot real quick and set a start and finish. So if we were to go here and click setup, it will automatically set up so you are heading east then north. Let's see if the east, north, yeah, it's, it's got the right farm. And just to make sure, I'm going to go over here and uh, make sure to set the end position in the corner here. Just so that it, you know, is accurate in its readings of the farm. So let's go here. Let's check the end position. All right, so the end position is in this corner. So start position, end position in the both opposite corners of the farm. Now, now the bot, it knows the farm. What you want to do is just sit anywhere in the farm like this and look at your settings. So you want to toggle fly or toggle sprint. Uh, fly means you, you're going to be able to fly. So fly is harvesting is disabled. Let's enable that. There we go, enabled. And then there's a sprint, which I want disabled. So it's enabled. Let's turn that to disabled. There we go. Sprint has been disabled. Now, when I now I can just start the bot on the nether wart. Start to nether wart. And hands off the keyboard, and I'm going to let it let it do its thing. There we go. So it's it knows where you are in the farm, and it will just start mining from there. Uh, heading east, then north, since that's the direction that it chose uh, for the farm. So it's going to do that, go across, and just... And it's just going to do that in a loop. Uh, there is another fun thing about this script as well, so I'm just going to stop it right there. Um, it's that it recognizes when rows are empty. So if I was to start it, for example, here, let's start activate it again. Um, let's go for another wart. There we go. It should uh, harvest a few rows. So double tap space goes back down so that's slightly hovering 
above the ground, but still flying. So it enables you to harvest the uh, nether wart, or any crop for that matter, uh, pretty nicely. And then it skips on the rows that are empty, and then continues on the rows where uh, there's enough uh, nether wart to be harvested. So this is this is really good for when you have rows that are still uh, growing, but this is mainly used for sugarcane since I don't it doesn't detect uh, early stages of growth of the nether wart. Such so let's uh, stop it right here and move on to the sugarcane. There we go, sugarcane. So we have our little sugarcane farm here. And I'm going to sit in the corner here and do exactly the same thing as before, which means start activate for sugarcane. Uh, it knows the dimensions of the farm already, I've already set them as before. So um, fly harvesting enabled, sprint disabled. I should have actually done it the other way around, where you have sprint enabled and fly harvesting disabled. But I guess uh, that works too. The fly is just a little bit fast. Um, so as you saw, it skipped the row where it had the carpet, uh, the stone. Though I do recommend putting carpet down instead of the stone blocks because sometimes the stone can't uh, block the bot from actually harvesting the um, the sugarcane, as we'll see uh, a bit later down the road. There we go. So it it is as you can see the bot is blocked by the stone here. So if this was carpet, it would it would it would work just as just as fine. Let me just go over it. So uh, there we have it for now. It's um it's still in its early development phase. This is like the first uh, release of it. So obviously it's not buggy. It's optimized for the nether wart farming. Uh, but not really for the others. For example, if I was to go for the pumpkin uh, real quick, there we go. Um, oh, still got a bit of sugar cane here and there. That's okay, out of the way. Uh, let's, uh, let's get it. Let's activate for pumpkin. Activate for pumpkin. So we don't need to update the uh, dimensions of the farm. It's fine. Fly harvesting disabled, sprint enabled. That's, that's all right. Though it can work with fly. Let's stop it here and add fly, activate for fly, and sprint. Let's deactivate sprint because I don't need it when flying. There we go. Let's um and let's run it. You can sprint and fly at the same time. You just need uh extra CPS. So let's run it now. Pumpkin. There we go, so that's the pumpkin with the fly. Oh, uh, oh yeah, it's not hitting because I'm because of the sugar cane, but yeah. The bot doesn't hit any block than the one that it's um, specifically made to target. So in this case, I was stuck inside a sugar cane block, it wouldn't hit, which is useful if you want to go to spawn, but. Let's just look down a bit there. You go. That's another little effect that I made. So it's not yet optimized for pumpkin farming, but it's kind of getting there. It's uh, it's very close. Yeah, it's very close. I just need to look down a bit better, a bit more. All right, setup complete. So this is the start position. The end position is always the opposite corner. and set into position and now I can place myself anywhere within the farm and it will slowly go up and down towards that corner over there so if I was to just sit here and uh, make sure that I have fly enabled what's uh, so fly is enabled and let's just run the wood 
fly harvesting enabled, sprint disabled. There we go, up and down. And there we go. So it really just you can it once it knows uh, once it knows the the dimensions of the farm, it can basically start farming from anywhere. You just have to prompt prompt you know prompt it into the farm and it will do its thing, uh, which is really nice. All right, I'm gonna end it there. And this video has gone on long enough. I I hope I haven't bored any of you. It's still in an early version, so I'm. I'm not releasing it just yet, but if you really do want it, then uh, the details are in the description. See you guys later.